Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, this is how to add a horror monster to your GTAG fan game. This is how the horror monster works. So when you load in, it'll instantly start uh, moving around like this. He will instantly start walking around. He will walk around wherever you placed your points and stuff. And also, when you touch it, uh, you will get jump scared. And also, uh, when you go close to it, it will start chasing you and making a noise. And uh, it will like start screaming or whatever. So, uh, go to my uh, server in my bio. Uh, the modding, I uh, no, no, not the modding, uh, the script server or tutorial server. Get uh, uh, the AI doesn't work and AI wonder follow. Uh, they're like uh, they're over here. Yeah, let me go. And sorry about that. My dad just came in my room. But now you have to go in my server. Uh, let me just go over uh, which ones. This one. By the way, if you want to make a uh, profile pic, just make a profile pic over here. Then uh, go over here. There will be like uh, scripts. Uh, there will be two scripts. Well, maybe two. But uh, just uh, first, you go in package manager. Once you're in package manager, wait. Oh my gosh. You go to Unity Registry and typed AI Navigation like this and type uh, click install. I already have it installed so you don't need to install it. But what I meant uh, I don't have to install it because I already have it. I'm not sure if I said uh, you don't need to install it because you already have it but whatever. Then next, you have to go in Window AI Navigation. If you have an older version, use Navigation Obsolete. You have to just click Bake and just put the same settings as this thing. Like go to AI Navigation. Put the same settings as this one I'm going to show you. So first, put your radius as 0 0.1 and then height as 1 and step height 1. I mean 0. 0.9999999 and then put this at zero and yeah then after that go to oh wait wait let me just go to plus sign click ai nav mesh surface then it'll make a ai nav mesh surface it will be called ai nav mesh surface or something I, uh, I changed my name. Then uh, if there's no, if there's no uh, nav mesh surface script, just add one by add po component and nav mesh soft surface. And then click bake. And then if you want to see, uh, like, w uh, wait, it might take a bit, but this is where like the monsters can go. Uh, if like the monsters can't get off something, just go in your navigation and put this max slope to 60 and stuff uh yeah and then uh yeah, let me just okay now you go uh yeah just import your monster or something but i'm gonna just use a cube let me just use a cube okay when you have a cube you just go here Place it somewhere here, then add a nav mesh agent. By the way, uh, if you have a box collider, make the box collider like kind of bigger than the model. This is like w uh, the collider for the uh, jump scare to spawn. Then turn on is trigger and also put a layer called trigger on it. Then on the uh, nav mesh agent, you can see uh, this part like, like this part like the circle thing if it's like like a tinier than the monster like this just make it bigger like this and also put the put the height as the monster and also 
if the monster is like if the thing is like above the monster or up the, uh, like under the monster just move it like this to for the monster to be like correct and then uh, if you don't do it your monster will go in the ground uh, and it will get stuck or bite gets yeah stuck in the air by the way i'm not sure if you put would need to put it on later trigger but yeah also put uh, your ai wonder follow and ai doesn't work when view is mine then turn go in here put your navness agent for here then put your chase target tag as player the same way spelled for like this and put it as like if your map is kind of giant then put it at like eight but if it's super giant you can put it at like 10 or something i don't know the follow sound is your sound uh, i'm gonna just pu put uh, i'm gonna just put this one i don't know what that is the uh, after that go uh, make a audio source Make sure you have uh, play on awake and loop. If you want it to be loud, and turn it on one. But I would recommend to put it somewhere like this or this. Uh, I put it right here. Then put this at right, and put this as like a linear. And also put on uh, this thing. I forgot what it's called. Gizmos. Put on gizmos. Then uh, put this a bit down, or like put it at like five or like wait, wait. over here follow distance uh, click on it if you turn blue click control c and go here and control v and then click like put this as like two or something or four or three and then uh after that put the audio source right here Put this. This is like the how uh, like fast it goes, like uh, like wandering around here, and this is how like fast it goes, like uh, chasing you. I think you should put it at three and seven. Is this is like normal and this is fast. This is like the lethal ape one, and also you can put it at four if you want. But I'm gonna put it at three. Then after that, points. Just like make a empty. Put it like right here. Wait. Okay, and then cl cl right click it and create another empty. Then, uh, wait. Make it like this so, uh, like whenever your monster uh, goes, yeah, it goes like so ha it has to go somewhere and it doesn't know where to go. So, you have to put a point where it goes and then just control C and V and just put it somewhere else. Let me see. Make sure it's not above the uh, map or like somewhere where it can't go or else it will like be stuck. And then I have it going right here and here. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, once you're uh, there, put go on your uh, monster, click this and click this and control. Control click this. You will click these two. And then drag them right at points. And then uh, if you add more points, you can add this at zero and then add the points there. And then uh, after that, by the way, do not enable static or else it won't work and it will get stuck. And then after that, uh, go on your uh, monster, put a photon view and also a photon transform view. By the way, for phone tower you have, you don't need to do anything, but I, I'm not sure you can actually you can put it on rail boot delta compressed, but I'm not sure. I keep it on this. Then go to photon transform view and turn off use local. Then that's done. Co uh, click this and put this here, and then next, uh, oh yeah, download uh, the a uh, church script. It will be called teleport gorilla player. Uh, and then place it here after that uh, 
teleport location is like a uh, uh, just create a random empty somewhere like where you want to, to teleport to when you die let me just place it somewhere okay as you can see i put it here you can sp uh, call it spawn location or whatever you want uh, and then go to monster place this right here and gorilla player go to your gorilla rig and put your gorilla player right here objects to disable just put your whole map in right here and then put this at 0 0.4 or whatever you want just it's like uh, how long it takes uh, for uh, the map to appear again but i think it's this is the uh, like how much you should put it cause uh, uh, or else you will like fall off the map teleport overlay is your monster thing well let me pause okay go to your gorilla rig gorilla player main camera just m make like a uh, just put a cube in there make it uh, a big giant then g if you don't have pro builder just go on window and download pro builder like unity registry and pro builder then uh, you go to tools pro builder pro builder window click pro builder and then pro builderize and then flip normals and then uh, make a super black material like this one and then move it like this so like you can check game you can see nothing but uh, then add a cube in it like this or no 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 just uh, make a thing uh, empty call it jump scare put the cube here and also make a new cube and then put it like or put your import your monster into jump scare i'm just gonna use a cube because that's what my monster is well, let me just like this Turn it small, and then after that, uh, just go in animation. So Windows animation, animation, or yeah, animation. Then animation. Put uh, go to somewhere like animation file. Just type something, whatever. Then save, and then click this and go to like 60. I will make it like spin, or I will make it just go like the like I'll just make it go like spin a lot like this and then uh, once that then go to uh, audio source or put an audio score source in the jump scare thing then put your uh, jump scare so chimp jump scare then don't put on loop put on uh, play on awake this is the uh, loudness of the jump scare and then put uh, right and then that's it uh, for the jump scare just disable that jump scare go to your monster and go back here and put the jump scare right here and also put the jump scare right here too and then that's it for the monster uh, i'm gonna test it now and i will try to fix it if it doesn't work let me just pause okay when you're here click play let me just wait till it okay it's going now and then it should uh, move around and then when wait let me just get my gorilla player okay i got my gorilla rig here i'm gonna put gorilla player oh yeah i have to whenever i spawn it'll disable everything i will give a script to that soon but here oh wait a minute oh no okay i have to i have to do <coughs> Like this. Uh oh, uh oh, what's happening? <coughs> okay, that was not my. The okay, okay, okay. I'm here now. I'm here now. Okay, where's the cube? Where did I put it? Okay, it's right here. It's walking where uh, I put place the things. Now, when I go close, it'll start chasing me. And then when I get jump scare, <coughs> it plays the jump scare. And then I get teleported <coughs> over there. By the way, uh, if it if it doesn't teleport to you, it would uh, uh then it might be a bug or something uh, you can try to fix it by the way make sure in your left hand you have a, ha a tag called hand tag just click 
this add tag and here put la left hand right hand put hand tag and right hand and then here put a tag called player and uh, that's it and yeah the monster should work uh, if it doesn't work just uh, find another tutorial and use that teleport script because mine doesn't work really great he like uh like the little ape one has like basically the same one and also you sometimes fall out the map too so if that happens you could just make a, a, a sprite on the floor and then uh, put a teleport gorilla player and add like text is saying your fell and the uh, audio source or whatever yeah but that's how to add a monster in your gtag fan game bye